I, I just, I understand that I have commitments, but I have commitments here too. Yes, and you agreed. I will get a hard date as soon as I can. Thank you. Bye. Hello, Spencer. Miss Drake, I saw you in here and I thought I'd ask about your friend. About Hannah. How is she? Uh, she's, she's all right. Has she told you any more about what happened to her? No, no, not much. I have to tell you, I don't feel especially good about the other night. What about it? Letting Hannah talk me into taking her to your house instead of the police or the hospital. So why did you? She insisted. Yes, but you were the one who was driving the car. You could have taken her to the police. You could have taken her to the doctor. You could have taken her anywhere, but you didn't. Why? Frankly, Spencer, my experiences with hospitals and the police haven't always been the best. I'm sorry, what do you mean? I told you that my sister and I had issues. And that's true, but not really honest. One of the most distressing things about Allison being where she is right now is that I have had similar experiences. I spent time, considerable time, in Radley when it was a sanitarium. May I ask you why? Why you were at Radley? I'm going to tell you this because I want you to understand why I'm so worried about Allison. We were 14, my sister and I. Jessica was babysitting. And she called me to complain that the baby wouldn't stop crying. It was the Carver baby, Teddy. He was 10 months old and he had a cold and he must have been miserable. She begged me to come and help her. I didn't want to go, but I did. And when I got there, the baby was upstairs, finally asleep. Jessica said she had given him a bath and he had fallen right off. Then she asked me to stay with Teddy so she could meet up with Matt Brooks. Jessica left. And when the Carvers came home, I told them that Jessica had called me because she had a headache. Mrs. Carver went upstairs. Mr. Carver was giving me Jessica's money. Mrs. Carver started to scream. She screamed like she was on fire. Teddy was dead. And when they found Jessica, she said, well, the baby had been fine when she left. But you told them they believed Jessica. Everybody always believed Jessica. She was the warm one. And that was why your parents put you in Radley? It was battered prison. They thought I'd be safer. At least that's what they told me.